got the cabin, first class cabin key, so let's head over that way, see if we can help Leon. It should be a straight line from here to there. Except for you. Oh, now, what's that? There's something going on in the bottom. It's a hint that something terrible is coming. Wait, it's that monster. He's somewhere around here. Huh? Where? I can't pinpoint his location, but he's definitely nearby. There we go, that was a nice little animation. Watch the monster burst out of the wall. Alright, now we're going to want to get a stronger weapon. Alright, not bad. Hey Lucia, what's going on? How'd you know that thing would be here? I told you I can feel its presence. <laughs> right, I'd like to believe you. But I got this feeling there's something you're not telling me. I can still feel it. It's really close. In fact, it's... right there. No! That thing just grabbed Lucia. And then vanished. Alright, so Barry's all by his lonesome again. We're not going to get through there unless we use our key. Yeah, the only thing we have to go on right now is that Leon is in this direction. So let's go see if we can find him. And then we can start looking for Lucia again. Okay. No goodies in here, huh? Well, even if there are no goodies, there are at least no enemies. But there's one. We're going to ignore, ignore that one. Yeah, I thought I could get away from her. This is one of the enemies I don't like. They can potentially poison us, and the ones around here respawn. Like that one. If we were to take that one out, it would just be back when we go back into the uh, hallway. Oh, what happened to our audio? There we go. That was too intense. Too intense for the game. Simtech to the trick? No. Alright, you have an item. Using up a lot of ammunition, though. Alright, yellow herb, some handgun bullets, not so bad. Let's see, is the game going to make a liar out of me? Did that zombie pop back up? No. Alright, so I guess I was wrong. Okay. 
Okay, let's shoot this one. And I think that's the only one in here. But there is a big hole in the ground. This hole appears to go down a long way. And at the bottom of that hole... I can just make out a figure. I think it's Leon. So yeah, there we go. There's Leon. We've been waiting to see him for a long time. Back since Resident Evil 2. Barry descends the rope to reach Leon. Now Barry's portrait here... You know, this is Game Boy Color, but it looks pretty good. Come on, Leon. Wake up. Leon regains consciousness. Leon's portrait, not so good. My head, Barry, what are you doing here? When you fail to report in, somebody pushed the panic button. So they called me, they called me in to pull your fat out of the fire. Right, sorry for dragging you. Wait a minute, there was a girl. Yeah, I know, Lucia, right? She's been captured by that thing. You know, there's something about that girl that bothers me. Like what? Well, she's got this weird power. Maybe she's that bow thing that we're looking for. Yeah, sure. And that thing that Tucker doesn't fit the bill? Well, yeah, but... Listen, right now I'm convinced that Amoeba thing's a pretty good candidate for what we're looking for. And until I'm convinced otherwise... I'd like to see what I can do to save that, save what may be the only survivor in this hellhole. You're right. There's a security room back with the way I came. We might be able to use the observation monitor to find her. Alright, so now we have Leon on the team. So we're going to give him the knife. And we're going to give him the Kevlar too. Poor Barry over there is pretty beat up. Let's see if we can heal him a little bit. There we go. And we now start, I guess, another save point, another chapter, whatever you want to call it. So you might be wondering, where on the ship are we? Well, we're in level two, the multi-purpose room. Now, I know there are some goodies around here. Now let's try to take on one zombie at a time. Two shots, not bad. Good, more bullets. Alright, pretty sure we're done in here. And now we're back on the hallway where we first started the game. We're going to look around in here a little more. Can probably sneak by you. Alright, music room. Okay, that's one zombie down. Missed. Yes, some shells. To catch up on procedures, crewmen should read during their spare time. Many technical books can be found in the library on the second floor. Alright, so that's a hint. That if we need technical books, we can go to the library. And the library is on the second floor, which is where we are. Look at you hiding over there. Not bad. Two shots. Well, a well-worn key that is used to gain access to the ship's library on the second floor. So we have a reason and we have the means to get to the library.
But we're gonna check here a little more first. Okay. You... I don't like. I don't like you. I have bad history with the zombies that have crowbars. Now, are you... are you defeated? No. So, I'm hoping he'll disappear when we go in and out. He did not, and now you know why I have a bad history with these enemies. Dang it. Use an extra shot. Purple herbs are good. That might be close enough for him to whack us. You, you're not invited to this party. Alright, titanium armor. So Leon, you get an upgrade. Do not have the grenade gun. Wonderful. But we... You again. Go away. Nobody wants to deal with you. So we do know we can come this way to get a grenade gun. Or ammunition for the grenade gun. And we are just... A, really? See, I really don't like this part of the game, where the zombies just spawn in at certain times. We will have to remember to come back here when we get the grenade gun. And that might actually be pretty soon. Okay, you. You have an item. Alright, green herb, not bad. You do not have an item. Alright. Might be in a fight with three zombies. And we're just about out of ammunition for the handgun, too. Get him, Leon. Leon got whacked pretty hard, didn't he? Okay, Barry, one shot left. Make it good. Just so much for making it good. Oh, we got plenty of shotgun ammo. If I can use it correctly. Now, I believe this is the library. anything we want, but we have to blast our way past them. Okay. 
Okay, more Kevlar. But we got better than Kevlar for our group. There we go, some handgun bullets. During meal breaks, crewmen should use the kitchen on the third floor. This kitchen can be found next to the Ocean View Lounge. Alright, not the most useful information, but at the very least it tells us where the kitchen is. Alright, a lavish key that is used to open the ship's lounge on the third floor. I'm trying to remember if we've been by that lounge. I think so. Too close. Hmm. Let's see if I can rush by that one. Nope. Okay, that's it for our handgun again. But I do believe we have the key. Yep. Although we really want to be going towards the security room. Yes, more handgun bullets. There is something over here we want, but I may be a little early to get it. Alright, this security card is used to gain access to a computer on the computer control room, third floor. sneak by you. Or rush by is probably the better answer. Now, I know we want to be careful around here. You know, just say no, kids. Say no to randomly spawning enemies. This is another dangerous area. If I'm not careful, we're gonna fight three zombies. Alright, this key is used to gain access to one of the first class cabins on the third floor. Well, we were just over there. So we have to know which room they're talking about. There is another area I would like to go to. Not 
sure if I want to do it now or a little later. Oh, come on. Well, my own fault, I got stuck on the wall. Try going around this way. No, we're not gonna sneak by that guy. At least not that way. Come on. There they are. Looks like they're heading for the upper deck. This doesn't make any sense. As far as we know, that thing has wiped out everybody on board. Why doesn't it kill the girl? You don't quit, do you? I know you think she's the monster we're looking for. But if she is, why isn't she wiping that floor with that thing? I see your point, but... Look, if it's her power that's bothering you, don't worry. I know about it. Before you came on board, I had some time to talk to her. About two years ago, she was adopted from an orphanage. She said her ears started ringing about that time. Her ears? Yeah, apparently she has an acute sense of hearing. Not to mention her other senses. She also told me that she healed quicker than most. In fact, those same powers got her in trouble with the local kids. They picked on her for being different. She said that things got so bad for her foster parents, so bad that her foster parents decided to send her to some relatives in Europe. That's why she's on this ship. Not because she's some sort of refugee from an umbrella laboratory. <laughs> that sounds pretty lame to me. Jeez, why do I bother? Can you at least assume she's innocent until proven guilty? Right now, my concern is that monster heading for the upper deck. If taking that thing out means saving the girl in the process, then what's the problem with that? Come on, we've wasted enough time. Let's move. Well, first we're gonna take this zombie out. Gotta get a little closer. For our trouble, green herb. Alright, another save point. 